So I took a trip to to Alabama and Arkansas, and uh, I spent about I don't know like two and a half weeks on the road. And man, Arkansas was awesome. But you know things didn't go according to plan. And uh, well, I mean, how often do they do, right? Two weeks was planned in Arkansas, but I only spent three days, turned around, went to Alabama, and focused my attention on God Module. turned around in Chattanooga too. Like, I don't know which way I'm oh, going I and where I'm going. Like, just uh, follow the map. Stoneport was like east of Chad, but I think it's like northwest-ish. catch any of the holes right either. Damn it. That was the best it looked like you've caught that left hand. I so was to far. the right. Oh, <sighs> you were you're on it. I did
you know, God Module's a crazy climb, and uh, for me, I mean, a few times when I when I when I did the first move, I mean, I actually thought I had done the first move, but when I looked back on video, I noticed that I was kind of giving it a hop off the ground because those heart those holds are really they're difficult to hold. I mean, they're they're not like they're positive yet. You have to have fingers to hold on to those things, and uh, you know, I the first time I did God Module, I celebrated. I, I really thought I had done it. Had I not taken video, I probably would have walked away. I, I did God Module, uh, but when I looked at the video, it looked like I ever so. It was very subtle, and I talked to my friend Kyle after after because he showed up. Uh, he's my friend from North Carolina. Great guy, Kyle Townsend. I showed him the video and he was like, man, that doesn't, I mean, I can't really tell whether or not you jumped. I mean, it's probably based on your own feel, but you know, my gut was telling me that I needed to try it again. And even if it was like a 10,000th of a second pause before you start the first move, it is literally about generating off of the foot without, without help from the ground. And I, I just felt like I had to do it again. And so I did. Come on, Eric. Come on. Come on, right here. Finish it. Finish it. Yes. Yes. Dude. Yes. I think that's legit. Oh, way legit, dude. <laughs> yes, Great dude. job, man. Perfect. Flawless end, dude. That's awesome. I have to say that God Module was a climb that is like, that's a true testament to the evolution of my climbing. And, you know, it's weird that, you know, I'm turning 41 this month and, you know, I sometimes have feelings that I'm a washed up climber and it's probably best that I start treading on, on you know, calmer waters and taking it easy, maybe changing activities or pick up paddle boarding or hiking or going back to running or you know playing soccer or something like that. I proved myself wrong a lot and that thing is high octane. It's like zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds. I mean, four moves of really intense bouldering. It doesn't appear like that on, on video when you see people do it, you know, but it's, it's fingery, it's hard, it's so pure, it's like, one of the most beautiful problems I've seen anywhere. It 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 is um, it's one of those things I saw ten years ago that I was like, oh man, I have to do that climb. And you know, I had already had some hard climbs that I had done. You know, I started, you know, climbing at 26, and you know, I remember so that was around um, like I think 2006 is when I started climbing in earnest. And you know, I saw this climb. You know, I mean, I I knew about God Module, like pretty early on in my climbing. I was like, you know, that is one boulder that I would love to do someday. And when I first tried it, it was, oh, it was so hard. I, I could barely, you know, grab the start holds. And I have fingers, you know, I have strong fingers. I always have. That was a gift that I think I had starting off. And man, I have to say that like seeing from the beginning to the end and, and I don't feel like I was much, I'm much stronger now than I was then. But I have to say that like, it was really awesome to actually do it and to actually do it over 40 uh, for me is, is really cool. Uh, so for those of you that feel like you might be getting a little older and you might want to step off the gas pedal a little bit, man, I, I mean, do what you need to do, but I think we could push ourselves a lot further than we think. And sometimes I, I have a tendency to do that myself and, and um, to, say like, oh, you know, I want to ease up a little bit, but you know what? I think that we can still progress. And I'm hoping that at least for the next five, 10 years, I want to see if I can continue to evolve and progress and continue to climb my limit. And I, you know, that's the cool thing about climbing is that we all climb our own cutting edge and it, um, no matter what grade or level or discipline, 
I mean, I think the, the, the best climber in the field is the one that's having the most fun. You hear that all the time. So, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was a great climb and uh, it meant a lot to me to do it. So I highly recommend if you ever make your way to the Southeast, go check out Horse Pens 40. And uh, there's a lot of great climbs in there, but if God Module is on your list, man, it is one of the best, maybe one of the best in the world. It's all about trying to make this moment the most important moment. Not putting any pressure, you know, to, to get something done in the future or dwelling on the past. This moment is the preciousness of life. This is where life happens. This is where reality is. And breath work, um, I don't know if I do my own Tai Chi, but I almost like the idea of creating my own dance, my own form of movement. So it's almost like Eric's Chi, you know? I mean, yes, it's good to have discipline, but I kind of like the idea of spontaneity and continuing to press and dig right now, right here. Live it up. That's what I'm saying, people.